Oh, animals. Not bad for a goat. When a 10-year-old girl from Wiener, Alabama got a goat to celebrate her birthday, she probably didn't expect the pet would save her life. Abigail Bruce got Speedy the Goat on April 14th as a happy birthday present. <laughs> then last Saturday night, Speedy woke Abigail up by pouncing on her and bleating. Abigail opened her eyes to see the entire living room was filled with smoke. She quickly woke her parents and her father checked and realized the fire was coming from an outside window. The fire department arrived minutes later and extinguished the blaze, but the house was heavily damaged by the smoke and soot. For now, the Bruce family is staying with a family friend until they can get back on their feet, while Speedy is staying in another friend's barn. Abigail said Speedy may just be the best birthday present ever. Her dad said he didn't like the goat at first, but after the fire, he thinks Speedy is downright awesome. A fund was set up by the local fire department to help the family recover from their losses. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Want more goat videos? We're not kidding around here. Meh. Goat Simulator is a pretty bad ass game. In February, Coffee Stain Studios released a YouTube video for a joke prototype game called Goat Simulator that quickly racked up millions of views. So, they made it into a real game. The aim of Goat Simulator is to get points for destroying things by headbutting them. You can lick objects to make them stick to your tongue. And hop and flip all over the place. There are also awesome achievements, like Michael Bay. The goat is pretty killer with an axe, too. The game is like an old-school skater game, but with awesome bugs, and has become insanely popular. Spawning other mods like Shrek Simulator, and Giraffe Simulator. Rumor has it that NMA is working on a panda simulator where the panda gets to pay up corrupt CCP officials, beat up innocent monks, and act like a Chinese tourist. Beyond planes and runways, Chicago's O'Hare Airport has fields, streams, and even a lake. To keep it all tidy, the city's Department of Aviation is bringing in new help. Goats! The company that operates the Butcher and the Hamburger restaurant has been commissioned to bring in 25 goats and maybe a few sheep to take care of weeds. A shepherdess will tend to them, and their job will be to nibble away vegetation, especially in hard-to-reach places. Officials say that it's not only a green way to take care of the grounds, it's also cost-efficient. After grazing all day, the goats will sleep under shelters at night. Fences will be put in place to make sure none of the critters wanders into harm's way. Video shows woman gave birth to goat. Really? This video supposedly shows a woman in Port Harcourt, Nigeria, having just given birth. But not to any ordinary baby. This newborn is a goat. Media reports out of Nigeria this past week are offering sparse and absurd details surrounding the incident. But let's work with what we got, shall we? For starters, the woman must have obviously been paid a visit by a male goat with a thing for humans, and the two got it on, obviously. Now, due to gametic isolation, a goat's sperm is highly, highly unlikely to bind to a human's egg. The species are just too far apart. But let's not let science get in the way of a good story, hmm? The woman reportedly went through a pregnancy that lasted two years. Odd, because a typical human pregnancy lasts nine months and a goat pregnancy lasts five. But who's counting? Finally, the moment of truth. A free medical clinic was set up by a local pastor and the pregnant woman blasted the baby out of her snatch. The result? This video, shot just seconds after the birth allegedly took place. The woman, on the floor, keeled over in pain, and her dear goat child lying in a pool of blood and what appears to be a placenta. Let's get a closer look at it.
You go back, go back. We're just calling them like we see them, folks. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Siberian Tiger makes friends with goat that was supposed to be its dinner. Who says predators and prey can't become besties? Amur, the Siberian tiger, who lives at the Primorsky Safari Park in the southeastern corner of Russia, gets fed live prey two times a day. But when Timur, the goat, walked into the tiger cage earlier this week as a meal for Amur, the unlikely odd couple instantly became friends when the goat showed no fear. The goat reportedly follows the not-so-ferocious tiger around its caged enclosure. Zookeepers named the goat Timur after a brave child character from a popular communist-era children's book. Most surprising is that Timur has kicked Amur out of his usual sheltered sleeping area, and the tiger has accepted the sleeping arrangement. For now. A zookeeper told the Siberian Times, Tiger Amur knows very well how to hunt goats and rabbits, but recently he came across a goat that he refused to hunt. So far, the pair have been getting along for the past few days, but let's be honest, it's probably only a matter of time before Timur becomes dinner. Jose Canseco, baseball legend. <laughs> and it's MMA hopeful. He does. Oh, a hard shot. He just Steroid abuser. Jab. Injecting. Where do you inject it? Into your gluteus maximus, which is your butt muscle. Your butt muscle. Also, goat lover. According to the champ's own tweets, he and his lady friend purchased two animals for something he calls his painting goats adventure documentary. But on the drive back to their Las Vegas home with their diaper-wearing goat cargo, cops spotted the couple's car and pulled them over. Canseco then tweeted this utterly bizarre photo of goats wearing diapers. The police didn't know what to make of the goats, which fall over when startled. If you've never seen a fainting goat in action, it's awesome. <laughs>